Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, <laughs> Deidre here. I almost forgot my name for a second there. Uh, Deidre Karagasi, <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, back again with some Star Wars The Old Republic videos. Uh, right now I got a bunch of montage clips of some world PvP I captured while on Tatooine. Uh, I wanted to do some some kind of new stuff. Uh, not just, you know, simple let's plays and whatever. Uh, I wanted to do something more kind of unique, I guess you could say. So, uh, usually when you come on my channel, you might click a few videos here and there, you might see some PvP montages, you might see some uh, Let's Plays of different dynamic events going on in the world uh, that kind of Bioware did, but you won't see a lot of kind of level 1 through 50 storyline Let's Plays and whatever. And what I like to do is, uh, is kind of differ away from that. So. Uh, if you're if you're new to my channel, basically what you're gonna notice is just a bunch of unique random videos from time to time. I don't normally post videos on regular intervals. I've tried to do that before uh, during the winter, but I had school and stuff. But I'm graduating now. I'm going to the film school in August. So you know, during the summer I had a little bit of free time, and I have a bunch of videos that I've recorded that I've just never really got to editing or, you know, doing much with, so, I, you know, there's stuff that I can I can still post on this channel. But basically, uh, I'm on Daedra, and I'm in Tatooine, and what I was trying to do is find uh, the galactic solution industry speeder parts that are found in different treasure hunting areas of the map. There's one in the transport shipwreck heroic area. There's one in the Wreck of the Star Dream area, which was, you know, that huge ship that crashed out in the Dune Sea for the Rakul Plague back in 1.1 1 .1 or something. And then there's, there's the Outlaws Den. And basically, I was on here, and I was trying to look for these parts, and I saw this raid group forming up uh, from all these people in the same guild, and I was like, hey, you know, something's going down, so I was like, better start recording, and so I did. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this is pre-recorded, but <laughs> anyways, uh, basically, I was like, okay, well, I want to get something cool down, so I started recording, and I got some, some good footage, and I was like, I gotta put this on YouTube, and normally, when I record stuff, I'm like, put it in the storage, or whatever, and I, sh you know, shove it away for when I want to come back to it later, but this was just pretty cool, and uh, I wanted something that was new and fresh for the channel, so... I decided to kind of mash this stuff together. Now, this morning I did post another video, and that was a, a what, a, what I like to call a game fail, I guess you could say. Uh, basically, I was on Tython on my Republic character that I haven't stepped foot on in ages, or you know whatever the term is. And uh, this character's name is Hidekashi, and I was doing one of the low-level quests where you talk to. Um, these two NPC characters, and they give you information about these two Jedi who are romantically involved, and they're located in the lower levels of Kaleth, which is the Sith stronghold, the ancient Sith stronghold on Tython. And, <coughs> excuse me, I need to cough. But, uh, anyways, uh, what was funny is that one of the NPC characters did not have a face. to record that and I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be really fun, this is going to make people laugh. So I uh, actually was like, huh, you know, this is, su is such a good fail, I'm going to post it on to Rooster Teeth's Game Fails subdivision of YouTube. And so I created a, a Rooster Teeth account. I don't know why I never did in the first place. I mean, I have like a lot of Halo 4, Halo Reach kind of fails that I have. But uh, I never really knew how to do that. I also tried to become a machinima director at one point, but I didn't know how to do that. Seems so I kind of fell to that. But anyways, uh, I got it done. I submitted it, the, the 24 second version of the, the short that I kind of clipped together. And um, I just thought it looked really funny. It was pretty cool. So I was like, okay, well, you know, that's a new addition to the channel in four months. So I 
decided, hey, you know, I recorded this, let's just get this done editing, and I'll put it on my YouTube. And that's what I did. So I got it done. It's, uh, you're watching it right now. Basically, uh, with Daedra, I'm kind of, I don't know, I, I don't really focus on PvP much with Daedra, but you know, I just can't let up something cool like this, you know, even if I don't have the best gear, I don't want to miss out on something cool like this. Uh, player communities make up a large portion of this game, because Bioware, they, you know, really like to focus on the PvE, and they haven't really implemented many world PvP spots except for Ilum, which obviously failed, as most of the Swator community knows. <laughs> But, you know, I don't know, I just, I was, I re really enjoyed this, uh, even if it was just player community solely, you know what I mean? So, uh, with Daedra, I only have about a hundred, no, not a hundred, what am I saying? 847 expertise. Now, that is really low, post 2.0 patch, uh, which is the rise of the Hug Cartel. Before that, you were able to get away with anywhere from 800 to 1200 expertise. Now you can get away with 2300 and up expertise, <laughs> which is like totally insane. Um, so as you can see right now, I'm not doing much damage at all. I'm just kind of basically using my um, elemental damage to kind of sap these guys' life pool down and using some of my uh, build-ups like my rail shot, my flamethrower, and you know, that little sticky grenade I have, or what, whatever that ability is called. So, uh, I don't know, I've just always been a PvE guy with Daedra. I've got his PvE gear pretty much set for, uh, you know, Terror from Beyond, Nightmare Mode. I can do that, probably. I can do EC Nightmare. Uh, definitely, I mean, obviously, as a 55, I'm pretty sure I can do Krog's Palace and Eternity Vault hard modes. And, well, no, not hard modes, uh, Nightmare Modes. I, I've already done hard modes, trust me, I not worked out on that. But uh, I'm just trying to get gear for Scum and Villainy Nightmare Mode, and do that, and do all the, the bonus stuff in there. So, it's, uh, it's kind of what I'm focusing on right now. But, anyways, definitely going to get into PvP. I know the PvP arenas are coming out in 2.4, which is around October. Uh, we have the Bounty Hunter contract week coming up in August, so that's going to be really fun. I'll definitely record some of that. Um, and then once I get all that done, uh, all that stuff recorded, I can focus more on my PvP, and I can get my gear up and get the, the rest of the partisan gear and level up the Conquerors. I can put all those augments in. Uh, what I like to do, though, is I like to rip the mods, enhancements, and armorings out and put them in the ones that I have currently. The, the armor set that I have currently because I think my armor set looks really cool and I definitely like the Knights of the Old Republic Sith armor instead of <laughs> the mummy wraps I guess you could call them like it, it looks like a mummy you look like a mummy basically with the PvP gear they have now so yes I am gonna lose some set bonuses but you know at the cost of you know me enjoying the way my character looks I, I, I can deal with it so uh, anyways in conclusion I just thought it would be interesting to add some more stuff onto the YouTube page, and since I have Production Premium CS6 now for Adobe, I can do some more cool things and definitely pump out stuff a lot faster. Since I'm working on my PC now, it's a lot easier. Uh, I can render stuff a lot faster. I can export things a lot faster. Uh, it definitely, the, the quality is better. You don't have that green bar underneath the video like you did in, uh, or like I did in most of the other videos on my channel so far. So I'm really excited about that, that I have this software. I can uh, do stuff with After Effects now. I have some buddies who have YouTube pages uh, that, that they do uh, visual effects tutorials, After Effects tutorials, Photoshop tutorials, and uh, they're really cool people. Um, so I definitely got some help from them on stuff they posted on their channel. Uh, they're really cool. Actually, I kind of want to give them a shout out uh, to Ch Ch Check It Productions. Uh, two of my buddies kind of work there. Well, I never really met these guys, but they helped me in some of the videos I've done for some of my school projects. It's really cool. Uh, you got Eli and Brandon. They're really cool dudes. You can check their channel. I guess I can put a link in the description. Uh, 
because they definitely helped me out and I should give them some credit because uh, my intro for this video, the Karagatsu Clan intro, uh, I actually used one of their uh, tutorials to help me do that. I didn't copy anything, I definitely used all my stuff the way I, you know, I generated it the way I thought it looked cool and whatever, but you know, it's, it, they definitely helped me and I like that a lot. It's definitely very nice. So I'll definitely, you know, give them a shout out. Go check their channel out. They're pretty cool. And uh, for me, all I can really say is, uh, you know, if you like the stuff that I post on my channel, this PvP and whatever, and if you like all the different unique stuff, if you like MMOs, you know, whatever, uh, definitely subscribe to the Karagatsu Clan. Become a clan member today. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to hit that like button because it helps me out. And um, don't shy away from clicking the advertisements because even though they're advertisements, just clicking on that advertisement, even though it'll bring up a new window, you can always exit out and that click will still count as a, a generated uh, income for the people who post these videos. So basically any YouTuber you watch on YouTube, if you see the ad in the beginning, just click on it. Just click the ad. It'll register that you clicked it. All you gotta do is exit out, and those people get income for that. It's uh, through a program called AdSense through Google, and that's how YouTubers make their money. <laughs> so I'm not saying that uh, you should do it because I'm telling you, but it helps people out. It really does. It helps people out, and people who are on YouTube to make a living, it helps them out a lot too. So, uh, like I said, don't shy away from clicking the advertisements. But definitely, uh, for me, for my sake, hit the like button. Favorite if you really want to. But definitely just hit that like button. Um, and if you really don't like my videos, that, that's totally fine. I, uh, I don't need you, <laughs> I guess. There's people for you on YouTube that you can watch. If you don't like me, then I guess I'm not one of them. So, uh, anyways. That's pretty much it. That kind of wraps up the video now, guys. And uh, I'll talk to you later. So you have a good one. And I will see you in the next video. Alright. Stay frosty. <laughs>